Oh, I didn't see that. Oh. Welcome back to Saddlesaw Garage. If you guys haven't seen already in the previous video, we took off the fender and the door to view the damage a little bit more. And we've seen that there's actually quite a lot of it and there's some hidden damage in the floor compartment. In this video, we're gonna prep the vehicle completely for framework, chain it down to the ground and start pulling the frame. Let's start at the exhaust. All right, so the reason why I'm starting at the exhaust is because the exhaust is kind of in the way of the frame and this is exactly where we're gonna be after you pulling, especially up here and over here and it's kind of just, it's, it's in there, it's in the way. We also took off the bottom bar that goes from here all the way to there. All right, so let's just start unbolting it. I can't take off the exhaust completely the way it's supposed to be because it's all bent up. This piece here is bent. So I have to take it off completely from the stands. It's not too hard, it's just everything's in a weird corner. All right, I took off this side of the exhaust. It was kind of a hassle, but now I gotta take off the wheel or pick up the car a little bit, take off the wheel and take off that side of the exhaust. in place with the manifold and then some over there all right got all the bolts off I'm probably just gonna lift it see how this thing comes off Ooh. you know what it might be I think the exhaust is two pieces so you have to unhook it from here too you can't just take apart the whole entire thing. But man, I want to take the whole thing out. Oh, all right, got the exhaust off. Oh. I had to do it this way. Um, the, real, the right way of doing it is taking off this bolt here and that will take off this bracket and this one. But this one, as you can see, is bent. So I couldn't have taken off because I can't reach this bolt inside of here. And that one I can, but this one I can't. So that's why I have to do it like that. A little bit harder, but I'll bend it back to shape and it'll be much easier to install. All right, just took off the exhaust um, kind of hard because it was bent a little bit. But what I've done next is, in order for me to set everything on, I don't have a frame machine, but I grabbed a big block right here, a um, big piece of wood. And when I put it underneath the car, the reason why I'm doing that is because instead of the jack stands um, sitting right here where this jack is right now, this is exactly where I have to pull it. That's where the jacks would be only be able to sit. So instead I put a big block here that way if the car does shift an inch or two, it's not going to fall and destroy anything else. It'll stay on the block. So that's what I did there. Perfect. Now it's standing on that subframe piece, so that's good. Maybe I should put this wheel on that way, it's all equal. Yeah. Yes! Perfect, dude. So it's just some powder coating in there. Oh, that's great. All right, guys, just got the car kind of leveled the way I wanted it to be. I got that block in the back with the engine. Then I got these dollies in the front here, kind of lifting up the vehicle just a little bit. The reason why I'm using dollies instead of 
um, jacks like this because jacks sometimes slip and the whole entire car falls and you cause more damage like you can dent a door or something uh, but this way if it falls or slips it'll sort of slip with the car all right so the next thing we're gonna do is strap it down to the ground so these are the hooks that we use right here these go straight to the ground with those bolt holes that you've seen before and they just kind of screw on and then we put the chain and then we hook it up to some part of the body or of the, of the vehicle all right some water came in there so i'm gonna go ahead and grab myself we got a tap for that i'm gonna tap it out and put some oil in it Alright, so to hook it up to the frame, um, I found this piece on the bottom over here. Uh, basically, it's going to hook up where this bolt is sitting, um, and it's going to hook up to the concrete. there and then also I'm gonna hook it up this way as well and to this one so let's get a bolt in there I'm also going to hook up one in the rebar area right here just because I don't have a lot of mounting points on this thing. So I'm going to take off these plastics here on heat shield and then mount it straight into here. Alright, that's off. So I was just thinking of putting them in a bag, but this is pretty good. All right, before we move on, um, putting this beam sort of exactly where it's supposed to be, there's a lot of little bolts and such, miscellaneous things. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them into bags and mark them. sorted into a bag. Now I'm going to put this uh, beam exactly where it's supposed to be. This wheel here is covering up this hole that I need, so I'm going to move this car a little bit to the right.
start to move, so I'm gonna have to take off that plate on the bottom. And then there's actually a frame piece on there that I'm gonna have to hook it up to. So let's get that done. Got this plate off. All right, so I took off the cover. This is where the bolt was right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap this guy on it, just like that, and then put the bolt through. frame is kind of hard to move um, I have to find this wheel extension that I have and then after I find that then I'm gonna start working on that um, but right now with the tools that I have I'm gonna go ahead and start moving this quarter panel out a little bit so I'm gonna unscrew these and bolt something in there like some kind of a metal bracket and start pulling it skin ends all this oh, this is difficult now I'm gonna start small and just start on this side this side here because this is all crumpled in this should be pretty simple stuff to move out Alright guys, this is some skin, it's super kind of light, easy stuff to get rid of. I'm probably going to drill it out anyways, so there's no need to bend it out. But down here we have the frame pieces, um, right here. So I'm going to actually take a look at the new piece and measure how much there is, like how much inches, maybe 3-4 inches. And then I'll bend it out with this uh, tool here. So let's go take a look outside at that face. I didn't realize this one had damage as well. Shots! Anyways, hashtag shucks. We got like four inches minus a quarter. <laughs> what? Depending on where you look at. Yeah, you got like four inches, four inches, and you got like three and a half on the small. Okay. I'm at two and a half inches on this one, so I need to pull it out a solid inch and a half. Let's do that. Yep. So I'm gonna have to probably pull it from here and hit it in with the hammer. Before I do that, I'm gonna go take, actually no, that's gotta be flat. Yeah, so. Cause our, on the other piece, this one was here. That little bumper here, that was like that. But this right here wasn't, so. Let's go ahead and clamp it on there and start hitting it on that.
right, next, what's bothering me the most is this right here. So I'm gonna start pulling it out here. There's also a crease inside of here, and I think that should come out as well with it. So let's get a clamp on there. Okay, you want me to hold that? Sure, well, I'm gonna hook this up and then hold that, yep. Oh, I can probably pick this up higher. Is that in the right position? Yeah. Can you check on that side? Because I moved it. Oh, oh, you're stuck with that. Yeah. We're not saving that anyways. I'm putting a new piece on. Actually, I might save that now that I think about it. No, I can't. This is all chopped off. I'm gonna try to get this piece here, so I'm gonna clamp something here or put this clamp right there and try to smash that in. I got this clamp right here. Uh, basically, it clamps onto whatever, so I'm gonna clamp it onto here. I'm gonna pull it from here. That way, I don't bend this thing out this way, you know, but that way, it pulls from there. Okay, so the quarter panel is kind of hard to work on. Uh, when I pull it, this is kind of all inverting and going inside. Um, and I really can't pull it unless I start cutting it and start pulling it out like that. But this is just a skin piece. And even if I pull it, it's just for looks, but inside of there is what I'm trying to really get at. So I think I'm not gonna be pulling it right now. And plus, I, when I tried to pull down, or pull this frame here, it was super hard. And that's because this has like four pieces of frame next to it. It's got the skin, then it's got the inner frame and the outer frame. and then and then the inner shell, kind of like where this is right now. And that's what I'm trying to save. So I think instead of pulling it as is, I'm gonna go ahead and drill these things out first, and then I'm gonna pull it out when there's gonna be just that inner frame, which I need um, to save. And I'm just gonna um, pull that out because it's gonna be much easier. It's gonna be um, less metal to work with. So I'm done pulling it out for now. So I'm gonna start removing some things such as this glass. Let's get to that. Take this one out. Sweet. We got a little 10. Oh no, it's even smaller than 10. take off this molding because yep. this it's holding it back. Check this out right here. Yep. Yeah, it's holding it back. So I gotta take the molding off somehow. Oh, it's a T20. <laughs> All right, we basically got the glass out. It's moved out. There's a little clip in the back and there's also a clip over here. And there's a bolt here and a bolt there. Now there's a whole bunch of T20 uh, screws here. I wanna take one out and show you what it looks like. Actually, I don't think they come out. They just twist in one direction. 
Oh, that's interesting. And then I think the whole molding pops off. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Huh. No way. These little white things in here, they move back and forth right there and they lock into place. That's a really cool design. All right, and now, Okay, it does have a little bit of glue on it. There it is. That's not sticky. Perfect. Boom. That's a glass removal. That's nice. See, I thought it was like regular glass where it's yeah, glue, glue all, all around. around. But there's just a little bit of glue there for our weather. That's actually interesting. That's pretty cool. I'm happy it was pretty easy. I think what I'm going to do now is start drilling some things out. Ryobi. Such a joke. All right, guys, this part of the video is getting pretty long already. So what we're going to do is going to split it up into two parts. And the second part, we're going to be uh, drilling out the... We'll be drilling out the panels because we realized that pulling them out is not really efficient. I mean, it's not really doing anything except making it cosmetically look better. But underneath there, the frame is damaged, and that's what we're trying to get to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill it out and save the inner frame, that's the piece that we need. And then all the outer frame, we're gonna try to cut out because we got a donor piece already and we're gonna slap that all on there. So with that said, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Make sure to hit that like button if you like this video, subscribe and share this with your friends. If you guys haven't already, make sure to follow us on Instagram at sci.hustle.garage for more daily updates. Yeah, and we really appreciate those 100 subscribers. Actually, I think it's like 126 by now. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, we're on the road to 1,000, so share this with your friends. It really makes a difference. All right, see you guys in the next one. Freaking German engineering.